channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated grooming table tour. I know that I showed you guys my grooming table before, but I have added a few things that are different, so I figured I would give you a little tour of my current grooming station. So I spend a lot of time at this grooming station, and so I wanted to make sure it's nice and pretty and has everything that I need right here at my fingertips, which is definitely what I suggest. Whatever area that you are going to use for your grooming, make sure that you have everything right at your fingertips because it does make everything so much easier. So the first thing that I will tell you about is the desk. This desk is from Pier One and it is the silver um, mirror desk. And I think it's the Hudson, I think is the name of the um, type that it is. And I used to have a uh, stool that matched, but the stool fell apart. So, uh, you know, and I guess it's from, you know, just going back and forth with that stool and you know as much as i used it one of the legs fell off and so i was like you know i am going to get something that will definitely last and something that i know is comfortable so the black stool that you see underneath is actually a photographer's saddle and i use this at my studio and i love this chair it rolls very very easily it's very comfortable and you know it's not something that you would want to sit in for hours and hours but for the time that i am here usually it's about 30 minute sessions so it's very very comfortable for um, that amount of time and it rolls very easily now i got this off of amazon.com my favorite one-stop shop for everything and i will leave the link to that in the description box below it was a little pricey but i know that this is going to last me a long 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 time because the one that i have at my studio is about seven years old so that one um, you know is perfectly fine so I know that I won't have any issues with this stool and there you can see Stasi. <laughs> she's peeking in all right so that covers the desk and it also covers the stool the next thing that I want to show you is my lighting so I'm gonna pan up a little bit so that you can see the light that I have it is to the uh, left side of the desk and as you can see, it is on a stand that has rollers, so this can be moved around if I needed it. And it also has a nice big arm so that you know it can come down, it can go forward, I can move it all around. And what this is, is it's an actual spa light. It gives off so much light and I needed something extra because to the right of my desk you can see just my regular lamp and that's what I had in the beginning but it just didn't give off enough light so this light is perfect because it's like a spotlight right down where I need it I will also leave that link in the description box below so now that I showed you kind of the major um, set up of the actual desk, the chair, and the lighting, I'm going to get a little bit closer so that I can show you exactly what I have on my grooming table. All right, so here is a closer look at what I have on top of the grooming table, and we will start off on this right-hand side here. So the first thing that I have is my Conair 1875 little hair dryer, and this is what I use to dry Stassi's face with every morning. It does have the cool shot button here, which is great. Um, so that we, I'm not putting heat on her face, and I did get this off of Amazon. And then I have her treats, which are the Good Dog Blueberry Treats and some Little Cheese Please. So those are her favorites, so we have those on the grooming table. In the back here, right here, I have my trash can. I used to have it on the floor, but the dogs were getting into it, so now I have it up here on the desk. 
And then I have the wall peanut, and this is what I use to groom in between the paw pads and just by her little uh, butt. You do have to be very careful when you're using this um, if you are going to be doing this yourself. So make sure you are very careful when you are using this, but it works very well. The next thing that I have here are some Muji drawers. Now I have a few sets of these. The first set is at the top and this is the five drawer set. So one, two, three, four, five. Then I have a set of the two large drawers sitting on the bottom. So this is one set here and this is another set, the five drawer set and the two drawer set. Then on the left side of the grooming table, I have two five drawers that are sitting on top of each other. And those, um, all of these Muji drawers hold all of my bows. So they are very inexpensive. They're only about $29, I think, for the five drawer and maybe 26 or so for the two drawer. So it's really an inexpensive way to hold your bows and it really does work very well. It's the perfect size for the bows. So that is what I keep the bows on. And then up top here are all the products that I use on a daily basis. The first thing over here on the left is the NutriVet Eye Rinse. And then we have my Paw Marks Drying Powder. My Show Premium Picture Perfect. This is for her top knot. Then we have the Beautifier, which is her clone that I use the Show Premium Clarity, the Show Premium Royal Treatment Brushless Spray, and the Show Premium Coat Therapy, which is the leave-in conditioner. In the back row, I have items that I use, but I don't use them on a daily basis. So the first thing that I have, which I really don't use anymore because I have another way that I'm using water, but this is just an empty bottle or a bottle with water in it, but she doesn't really like the noise that this spray makes. So now I am using this eight ounce um, cake decorating dispenser for my water source here at the grooming table. And this works a whole lot better because it doesn't make any noise at all. So I love this and this is what I keep on the table for any of those times when I need water. The next thing in the back here, I use this about once a week, is the Spa Lavish Tear Stain Remover Facial Cleanser. And you can see my video on using this, which I did I think last week. So I have this on the table here. And then this is a product that I just got, and this is the Chris Christensen Peace and Kindness. It's colloidal silver, and I really, you know, I, I'm not sure if this is working or not. Um, I, Stasi had a couple of spots on her face, actually one spot on her face, right underneath her eye that it was getting, it was almost like a little, um, I guess you would call it like a hot spot because it was staying kind of moist there and the yeast started growing. So I asked one of my show breeder friends, what do they do for this type of um, you know, spot? And she suggested colloidal silver. There are a couple of different brands, but Chris Christensen makes this one. So I bought it. And I just started using it, so I can't really, you know, tell you for sure if it's working. Um, but I think it is. And what it says on the back here is it's an amazing natural alternative to antibiotics and steroids. It's great for hot spots, cuts, scrapes, open sores, ear infections, fungus, itchy areas, acne, abscesses, bug bites, burns, uh, parasitic infections and ringworm and scaling and dandruff, etc., etc. So basically, you use this in the place of an antibiotic for bacteria and yeast. And so 
I started using this, but it actually had started clearing up before I started using that um, with just my Clarity No Rinse Stain Remover because this is an antibacterial, antibacterial anti-inflammatory as well. So I really think that this had cleared it up before I got this peace and kindness in. what I have been using the peace and kindness for is in her ears. I find um, or I have found that her ears have gotten a little yeasty smelling, not bad at all, but just a I could smell a little hint of something. So I read that this was good for um, ear infections. And so what I did was I put the peace and kindness in this bottle that way I could, it's a dropper bottle, and then that way I can just drop this in her ears uh, because she doesn't like anything that sprays. So this works out good. And so once a day I've been putting this in her ears um, just to, you know, see if that helps. Don't really know if it's helping yet because I've only had this for a couple of days, but I wanted to show you, you know, what was on my table, and this is what's on my table at the moment. All right, coming over on this side, we have just a couple of containers with a couple of items that I don't use on a daily basis at all. The first one is the Chris Christensen Mystic Ear, and this is to clean her ears. And I usually clean her ears about once a week with this cleaner. And so I don't really use it a whole lot, so that's why it is in the container. The next one is just some organic anti-chew bitter spray. I mainly use this when she was a puppy. I haven't um, had to use it since. Um, but if, you know, she would start chewing on stuff, then I would get that out and spray that on whatever she is chewing on. And then at the bottom here is just an extra toothbrush and I don't use that pair of scissors. That's like a thinning shears. I had that, um, those are like old. I don't really use that anymore at all. Then this is my little clock. And then this is my container that I have my cotton rounds on. I no longer use these cotton rounds on Stasi. I do use them on Harper, but Stasi is allergic to cotton of all things. So um, I will go into another video on her allergy testing that I had run and why I did it and the results in another video. But I do keep these up here for Harper. Um, and so that is that. What I do use to clean her face with is Viva paper towels. And this is just about the end of this roll, but I normally have the roll right over here. And the Viva paper towels are made from wood, um, like all paper is. And I actually called the company to make sure that there was no cotton and there is not, so I keep a roll of the Selectasize Viva paper towels right here, and that is what I use to clean her face. I like the Selectasize because, you know, you can just break off a little portion of it, and it's perfect for washing her face. It's very, very durable and very, very soft, so I actually like these a whole lot better than the cotton rounds anyway. So that is that. And then we go over to this side of the grooming table. And at the top here are my bands that I use. I use the Armco orthodontic bands and I use two different sizes. I use the one quarter inch for pigtails and I use the five sixteenths for everything else. And I also use the five sixteenths behind the pigtails. So I use both of these sizes all the time and that, um, these bands can be found on eBay is where I found them and they do come in bulk, which is the reason why there are like 1 million of them in each of these and this is gonna last me a long, long time. So hopefully they won't get dry rot before I use them all because this is a lot of bands but that's how they came and that's the only way I was able to find them. 
And then in the Muji drawers, I forgot to even mention, of course, you can see, but these are all of our bows. And we do have quite an extensive collection of bows. And you can see that all of the bows are a lot of my bows on my bow hauls, but I'll just give you a little peek into the drawers here. And see how these drawers just keep them all just really nice and neat and separated. And I try to separate them by color. And we do have quite the collection. I don't collect a whole lot of things, but I love bows. So I do have quite a lot of bows. And not all of these drawers are full. See, there's lots of space in there. And then I have some empty drawers at the bottom of this um, stack over here. Now, these two items here are the items that I use every day. Not every single thing in these containers, but a lot of the items um, I use every day. This is just a glass container here that I got from a company called Save On Crafts online. And this is where I keep the brushes that I use all of the time. So this is my Chris Christensen 27 millimeter pin brush. And this is the butter comb. So I use this every single day, these two items. This is the slicker brush. Um, I do use this occasionally when I get like a tough mat that I need to work through, and that's what this is used for. And then this is my hand paint painted wood pen brush from Barbara Brim. And I use this occasionally. I don't really use it a whole lot. Um, it's very soft and I think it gives her like a really good massage. But most of the time I am using this oblong 27 millimeter Chris Christensen pen brush. And then we have my little container here which holds all of the items that again I use every single day. This is her grooming pillow and I got that off of Etsy. And then these are my tools that I use every day. So here we have band scissors with the little hook on the end, her toothbrush and toothpaste, the little brush that I use to put the drying powder on, and my rat tail comb, and my five inch face comb. So these are definitely my tools that I use every single day. So they are right there at the ready at my fingertips. I used to have them behind her up here um, on top of this section, but I, had, I was always pulling them down. So now they pretty much just live on the corner of the desk right here. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show you is what I keep in the drawer. So these are the items that I don't, you know, use all of the time, but definitely items that we need. So the first thing that I have is these I don't use. So I had bought these when she was a puppy, but I really don't use these at all. So I probably need to throw them away. Um, the next thing that I do use occasionally are these Huggies baby wipes. And this is for when she has um, poop stuck on her and I need to get it off. I will use a baby wipe for that. Underneath the baby wipes is the book that I got the um, light from. And so you can see this is the classic spa collection and I'm going to zoom in. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Here we go. That's the website. So in case you are interested in a light like I have, ClassicSpaCollection.com is where I got it from. So that is what's on this side of the desk. And then I have... Her bib, and this is the bib that I use when I am doing the um, spa facial. So once a week, I will use this bib, and it catches the water, and I bought this off of Amazon, and this is a Dex Baby, the large size bib. I think they make a small and a large, and that's definitely the large size. The next thing that I have here is her little trimmer for her lip. 
and I did do a video on this. You can check that in my grooming series, and it's just a wall. I think it's like a mustache trimmer, um, but there's a link to that in that video that I explained and showed you how I shave her lip. It just gives a nice, neat appearance, and I do this at least three or four times a week. Those little hairs grow fast. And then I just have like an ink pen. I don't know why I have that in there. Okay, over here is a couple of um, drops for her eyes. She does get watery eyes, so sometimes I use these aloe drops, which is like an allergy drop for her eyes. It's for itchy eyes. And then these are, that's the Butler Shine. I don't really use that anymore because I am using the NutriVet Eye Rinse right now, but I still like this product, so I have some of it in here. This is just another type of powder that one of my show breeder friends loves, and it's the Page One Eye Powder. So I, I bought some of that, but I found that I like the Paw Marks uh, powder best, so that's the one that I use. And then here I have my shears, and this is um, the shears that I have. It's a very, very nice set of shears from Chris Christensen, and it is the SA506 model, I guess that's what it's on there, so I guess that's the model, and it came with this little case. They're very, very sharp. They work very, very well for trimming the paws, trimming around the butt, and anything else that you would need to use a pair of shears on. So that is about it. And um, like I said, I don't use those, so I'm gonna get rid of those. But that concludes everything in this um, grooming table tour video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.